It's Jake Palmer with Remax here. I'm at 16 Brookdale out in Grand Bay. Um, beautiful big uh, three bedroom bungalow with a uh, walkout basement on a really nice private lot. The garage is significantly older than the house. It's uh, used more as a workshop or shed, but if you put a bit of work into it, you could use it as a garage again. Nicely treed lot in the back. We'll see that in a minute. And we'll go in through the front. Nice stone walkway coming up to the home. And uh, it's got a really nice wide uh, deck on the front, which is nice because you get really nice evening light on the front of the house. But you can see lots of width here if you wanted to have uh, lawn chairs or something over here. You'll notice too, it's in a neighborhood of really well kept homes. Even this little house across the street. It's an older home, but it's really, really tidy and they keep a nice yard. We'll go through the front door. Ceramic tile right at the entrance here. Coat closet over here. And then a really nice open concept, but not too open concept. So, living room right here. Lots of room for big furniture. You'll notice that they have big furniture and there's still lots of space. That's a pellet stove over in the corner. Hardwood floors the whole way around here. With the exception of right in the kitchen. And then the kitchen area. Uh, open concept dining and kitchen. Lots of cabinet space in the kitchen. I was really impressed with that. And overall the square footage is really nice in this house. Give you another view here from the kitchen. But you can see lots of cabinet space. And then from this angle you can see that it's open to the living room but not so much that if you've got a whole messy pile of dishes you're not staring at them when you're trying to relax. And you can see you get really nice morning light through the kitchen here. and access to the deck right there. We'll go out there in a moment. So, upstairs, full bath, with uh, lots of closet space for uh, linen closet or what, what have you. Nice wide bathroom too if you got young kids and you want to be able to sit there and sit and enjoy while the kids are having a bath. There's lots of room for that. First bedroom here, double closets at the back, really large bedroom. First time I was in here, I thought this was the master, but it isn't. Second bedroom over on this side, still a really good sized room, still has double closets. But I mean, really queen size bed, easy in this room. And then the master is ginormous. So really nice big master. That is a king. And there's more than enough room for it. Nice double windows. <clears throat> and uh, nice big double closet over there. So upstairs here, just to point it out, we've got hardwood floors in all the rooms except a laminate in this smaller bedroom over here. And I shouldn't say smaller because it's still a big bedroom. It's just smaller than the other ones. And then down to the basement. This basement was just finished um, to the extent that this is the second video tour I shot because two, three weeks ago this basement wasn't finished at all. Um, laminate floors, fully drywalled ceiling, nice pot lighting, but a really nice big open space. And they did a really nice job of, uh, of keeping it open. Um, you'll notice too, lots of windows. So three windows back there and then over on this side, not to make you dizzy, but uh, another window over here. So you get really nice light down here. Oh, the kitty cat. Closet under the stairs. <coughs> another three quarter bath down here with laundry. So washer dryer, laundry tub over there. That's a ceramic tile floor, but a nice big space again, newer vanity and stand up shower in the corner. And a kitty cat. And then this room, it's kind of been left a little bit unfinished, but it has all been drywalled, including the ceilings, um, but a nice kind of rec room area, painted floor. They haven't laid laminate in here, but I'm not sure that you'd need to, depending on how you use the space. Again, nice big window. And this one is the whole width of the house. 
So going to the back, it's a walk out to the backyard, which is really nice. So depending on how you wanted to use the space, um, you might finish it with tile. If you had kids that would be running in and out, you might want to run the same laminate right through, or you might want to leave it as kind of a workshop with uh, outside access. And then this is obviously just storage. Homeowners are always embarrassed that I actually take a video of this, but I think it's important to see just the amount of storage. And if you're really fussy on details, I'll point out really traditional construction. So dimensional lumber, floor joists, and plywood as opposed to OSB. So a very, very well built home. What you guys don't see as I shoot this video is I've got a little cat chasing me the whole time. Just down at my ankles. Come on, kitty. <clears throat> and out to the backyard. It's really a nice size deck. I always love it when they use the six inch boards as opposed to the four because it just makes the deck feel more substantial. And a nice top cap over the rail, which is nice. But you can see it's oh, 9.15 in the morning and uh, we're getting a really nice morning light over there. And I always like to say there's a difference between having privacy and owning privacy. And in this case, the lot goes way back into those woods and so you've uh, you know, even if your neighbors went crazy with a chainsaw and trimmed out all their trees, you're still going to have absolute privacy. I mentioned briefly about the garage. It was here before the home was built, so we don't really know the age, but it had been used as a garage previously, but currently it's used more as a workshop. But really no reason to not uh, put a little bit of work into it and make it a usable garage again. And so that concludes the video tour at 16 Brookdale. If you have any questions about the house, please feel free to give me a call, 650-0092, and my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca. Thanks very much.